Hey guys, it's Cece. Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but I have been working a lot. I've been back in school, so it's been a little bit more tricky to upload and think of ideas. So I hope you've been enjoying um, the other member of our channel. I hope you've been enjoying their videos. And I just have a short one for you today about the Oxbow Essentials Sandstone Dribble Food. Just a disclaimer, it is not paid promotion, it is not anything like that. It's just my own personal opinion. So everything you hear in this video is what I have had in my experience, what I've thought about it. And how about I'm going to show you like how I use it in my hamster's diet and how you shouldn't be using it as a complete food for your hamster. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it around, show you the guaranteed analysis, explain a little bit about why it shouldn't be used, I guess, and then talk about how I'm using it. So yeah. So let's go ahead and get into the protein, the fat, and the fiber, and why I don't think that's like really the best choice as a complete diet. Um, so the crude protein is 15%, the crude fat is 4.50%, the crude fiber minimum is 10, and the crude fiber max is 15. So on the protein, it's not the best. Um, I would recommend like 20 or above, at most probably 22%, um, because hamsters, they need more protein they're going to be a lot, kind of active when they're younger, so I would recommend having a higher amount of protein. The fat is not the best. I think it is okay, though. Um, but the main thing that I like about this food is the fiber. It has an excellent source of fiber. I always use it in case I need, like, a boost of that um, element in my complete diet, so I would mix it with a food that has a higher protein, a food that has a better fat, which I like the sunflower seeds and Vitacraft Fade Nature, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, the main thing that just throws it off is 15% protein and the ingredients. It's not very, it doesn't have a very good variety. It only has really Timothy meal pearl barley, oats, and that's all the whole ingredients it has. So it's not, there's no seeds, there's no um, dried veggies, which I like, flaked corn and flaked peas. There's not really just anything to it. It's just kind of same old, same old, just Timothy hay. And I don't think hamsters only want that. I think they need, um, like, fruits and veggies. I think they need seeds, different things. Because in the nature, they're foragers, so they don't just have something. They're going to need to have other sources in case one thing is limited, like mealworms, insects in general, just things they would find in the mm -hmm. wild. I really like to include. So... I'm going to explain a little bit about how I use it in my diet and how it's not a complete food in my diet and how it's just a small percent that I add in to give a boost of fiber. So this is how I store my hamster's main food. This is the base to his diet. It has Phytocraft by Nature and the Oxbow Essentials. There's, I think there's about 5% Oxbow in the whole entire diet. So it's not that much. Um, he gets like one piece every time I feed him. That's like once or twice a week. Just for a boost of fiber. Um, it looks like this when it's out of the container. You can see this actually accidentally got in there. That's a lab block, but I tried to sort all those out because I put them in the wrong place. So yeah, as you can see, it's, there's a lot of seeds mixed in, and 
naturally the oxbow would go to the top because it's more dense so I decided not to include the lab blocks because that would be even worse because it would take like I would have to mix it like dump it all out mix it just to get a perfect amount for my hamster so that's in a separate container the, the lab blocks so in here in this food you can see there's like little things sunflower seeds which he really likes there's oats um there's these little round pellets little seeds there's just a bunch of different things in here so let me go ahead and skip that to the side So that is how I use it. It's 5% of the oxbow in that mason jar. It's 50% Vitacraft by Nature and 45%, I think, pretty sure, of lab blocks. So that's how he gets his kind of perfect amount. I can bring it up right now how much it totals in protein, how much is going analysis totals too so I'll go ahead and get that one up right in a second. This is how much of each food I use. I use 15% Vitacraft by Nature, 45% Oxbow, or no, 45% Lab Blocks, sorry, 5% Oxbow. These are the weights. I do it in pounds because I'm on a, I'm in America so I'm a different measurement system. It's just easier to do pounds. So for Vitacraft it's two pounds. Um, lab blocks 1.8 pounds, oxbow 0.2 pounds. And the overall guaranteed analysis, it adds up to about 18.60%, 5.15% fat, and 8.53% fiber, which I think is pretty decent. As you can see, the oxbow adds a little bit of that fiber back. So that is going to be it for the video it's just explaining you know the guaranteed analysis how you should add it into a different food with lots of variety and lots of seeds instead of using it by itself so i'm going to put this away and bring the bag or the package of oxbow back so once again this is the oxbow essentials hamster enjoyable food on the package, it says that it's a complete diet, but it is not. It is barely enough protein, not by any means is it enough. It should not be fed as a base diet. Make sure you have a v varied food, like Vitacraft, by Nature, Higgins Sunburst is really recommended, too. Um, if you want more information, I would... I'll probably leave a link to Hamster Hideout in case you want some more information about why this is not a good complete diet. So that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed. It's not the most interesting video ever, but I just thought that I should kind of inform people who don't know that it's not a complete diet. So yeah, I will see you guys hopefully soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed my first video in a while. I hope you enjoy everyone else's videos. Um, I would definitely say leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you later, hopefully. Um, goodbye.